Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about starting the carnivore diet, a diet that isn't just a change in what you eat, but a complete lifestyle transformation that can change your entire life. It impacts not just your digestion, but also your skin, energy levels, mental clarity, and mood. However, embarking on this path can feel isolating. You may feel like a lone wolf among your friends and family who might not understand or support your choice. For those of us who've embraced this way of eating for months or even years, we've faced challenges, but we've also reaped incredible benefits. In this video, I'm going to share insights I've learned over the past four years of being carnivore, so you don't have to learn these lessons the hard way like I did. We'll dive deep into three essential rules that will set you up for success, whether you're new to carnivore or have been doing it for a while. All right, let's start with rule number one, eat more animal fats. Now, when I say more fat, I don't mean plant fats like coconut oil or avocado oil, and definitely not any seed or vegetable oils. You need to focus on nutrient-dense animal fats, like butter, tallow, and the fat found naturally in meats like beef and lamb. These fats are rich in omega-3 fatty acids and cholesterol, which are critical for hormone production and brain health. Why is fat so important? Well, when you switch from a carbohydrate-based metabolism to a fat-based one, your body begins to burn fat for fuel instead of carbs. But in order to thrive on this diet, you need an adequate supply of fat to keep your energy level stable and your mood balanced. Without enough fat, you'll likely feel tired, irritable, and hungry all the time. Think of it like this. Your body is like a car engine, and fat is the premium fuel it runs on. If you don't have enough fuel, you're not going to get very far. And that's why I see so many people who attempt the carnivore diet, but end up failing because they're not getting enough fat. They're eating lots of protein but not balancing it with enough fat. A lot of people ask, how do I know if I'm eating enough fat? One simple but effective method is to monitor your digestion. If you're constipated or if your stools are hard to pass, that's a sign you need more fat. On the flip side, if you're experiencing loose stools or diarrhea, that could mean you're consuming too much fat or you're eating fats that are difficult for your body to process, like hot rendered fats. One big tip that made a huge difference for me was avoiding hot liquid fats like oils or even overly hot butter. When you heat fats, especially animal fats, they break down in a way that can be tough for your digestive system, especially if you're just starting out. I personally switched to eating cold fats like butter straight from the fridge, and it made a massive difference in my digestion. I'm talking about avoiding what I like to call explosive diarrhea. Trust me, stick with cold fats and you'll feel much better. Let me give you an example. A few weeks into my carnivore journey, I was struggling with loose stools, and it was making me question whether this diet was sustainable for me. But then I discovered the power of cold butter. Yes, I was eating a full stick of butter every day. Some days, even more than that. Listening to my cravings, I learned to eat the fat my body needed to feel nourished and energized. This also ties into energy levels. Carnivore is a low-carb diet, meaning you're cutting out most or all carbohydrates, which means your insulin levels drop. Insulin helps your kidneys retain electrolytes, especially sodium. Without enough sodium you might experience brain fog, low energy and even mood swings. This is why consuming extra salt when you first start the carnivore diet is so important. And remember, just because you need more salt at the beginning doesn't mean you'll need this much forever. Over time, as your body adjusts to being in a fat-burning state, you'll require less sodium and your salt cravings will naturally decrease. Personally, I used to salt my steaks heavily, and now, after four years, I need much less salt to feel satisfied. Okay, now let's talk about rule number two, consistency through motivation. Consistency is key to succeeding on carnivore, but let's be honest, staying consistent isn't always easy. We live in a world filled with temptations and it's natural to feel the pull to revert back to old habits, especially when social gatherings and family dinners involve carb-heavy foods. What has worked for me and many others is having a strong why. Why are you doing this? What are your goals? Take some time to write them down. Writing things down triggers something in the brain called the encoding process, which helps you internalize your goals and gives you the motivation to stick to them. For me, I do this every single morning. I get outside, move my body, breathe in fresh air, and then I sit down and write in my journal. Whether it's stress I'm working through, goals I'm setting, or simply a reminder of why I chose this lifestyle, it helps me stay grounded. Another great tip is to find a community to share your journey with. Create an Instagram or X account to document your progress and connect with others who are on a similar path. It doesn't have to be fancy. 
The simple act of sharing your experiences will help keep you accountable. One more thing about consistency, don't restrict your portions. Many people, especially those coming from calorie counting backgrounds, worry about eating too much. But on carnivore, your metabolism will adjust and your body will tell you how much to eat. When you focus on nutrient-dense foods, you'll burn more energy naturally throughout the day, even when you're just doing regular activities. Remember, your hunger signals work differently on a carnivore diet. Carbohydrates spike your blood sugar and leave you hungry soon after. On the other hand, a high-fat diet keeps your blood sugar stable, and you'll find you stay full for much longer. Now on to rule number three. Carnivore is a lifestyle, not a fad. This is not some quick fix to lose weight in seven days or magically solve all your problems. It's about long-term health and healing. If you're looking for overnight results, you might get discouraged, but the real magic happens over time. Your body has taken years to develop its current state, whether that's struggling with weight, inflammation, or other health concerns. So it's only natural that true healing takes time. The carnivore diet is about giving your body the nutrients it needs to heal from the inside out. Dr. Joan Eifland, an expert in food addiction, emphasizes how much our environment shapes our habits. Pay attention to the people you surround yourself with. Are they focused on health and vitality, or are they stuck in unhealthy patterns? Surround yourself with people who are dedicated to their health, and you'll find it much easier to stick to your goals. By building a supportive community, whether online or in person, you're setting yourself up for success. Our mirror neurons, the ones that help us mimic others' behaviors, are powerful. When you're around people who are living vibrant, healthy lives, you're more likely to adopt those habits yourself. So remember, carnivore is not a quick-fix diet. It's a transformation that requires patience, consistency, and the right mindset. Stick with it and I promise you'll be amazed at the changes you'll see over time. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave any questions you have in the comments. Feel free to leave your questions in the comments below, and I'll make sure to address them in future videos. I'll see you in the next video.